We're at 54087 Trotter Lane. So the east sun comes in at an angle over here. Your drainage is you really need more of a, a ditch, but drainage you see where it's pooling over there, it swells out to the back. Um, great facade. Overall, it's pretty good shape. Um, you got it's a brick veneer, um, so you got a little bit of cracking and whatnot. Over here, you do have side entry over here. Um, have a little bit of cracking, nothing major. Um, the beds are all done, which is good, so you're not getting the splash up. Water softener, which is outside exposed, but on a pad, that's nice. You have your well, which I would say we'd want to get a, probably a well inspection done on that, just to make sure she's in good working order. I don't really have any windows on the sides of the house other than a bathroom that I spotted earlier. There is one little concern over here on the entryway that I spotted, and I don't know if it's really a concern. Something we'll have to have the home inspector check out, but up in there, see where there is no brick in that gap in there. So it looks like it was cut that way probably designed that way just want to confirm single door entry tile floors you do have the grout lines though so the first room bedroom slash office has a closet so it conforms for a bedroom actually no it's not it's an office with a half bath here. Interesting. Pocket door. You have a return in this room. I wonder if they've got a return in every room. Skin ceilings and skin walls. Nice job. Crown molding. Kind of a shotgun layout. So you're going to get good lighting in the front of half the house. And wow, it's a pretty decent sized closet there. Yeah, it's a good sized closet. You even got an additional space up top. There is a vent in the closet that is bananas. Okay. Rarely do I see that. <clears throat> All right. Come along, we have what could be a coat closet here is what it's using for. And this must be the linen then. Yeah, okay. Nice trim work. The bathroom door, the common bath, is a pocket door. So, I don't know how you feel about that for convenience. Granite, undermount sink. Good cabinet. Shower tub insert. That's that one window I saw. Second bedroom. So you'll have your spaces west. So this window is facing west. So you'll have the evening as well. Again, you got, yep. Oh, wow, nice. Basically a duplicate cloth and another vent. Bananas, I tell you what. So, that is really nice. Another return. And there was a return in the other room as well. Go back and confirm. Pretty sure I saw one in the corner. Boom, yeah. Very nice. It's actually the paint color needs to be changed. It's just very dark in here. Single island. This is about three by 
six and a half, close to seven maybe. Undermount sink, it's not stainless. It looks like it's a ceramic. Okay, garbage disposal. <clears throat> My understanding is you don't put a garbage disposal on a septic tank system, but to each his own. They're not soft close, they're not soft close features. You got a D, oh, it's locked, double oven. Yeah, okay. Guess they don't want anybody in that right now. And it's recirculating, it does not vent out. Okay, backsplash, stone backsplash. Not a lot of counter space, but you do have good cupboards. Be nice idea to put soft clothes on these. You might want to consider soft clothes feature. Don't know if there's any LED lights up top there. Let me try this switch. Oh, there is up lighting. Okay. It's kind of a green. I don't know if you can see it. It's a rather nice little feature there. I'll turn it off maybe. Yeah. Dining area. Decent size. So you're going to have your westerly facing window here for your dining room. Very clean. Very neat. Okay, you got a mix match tile here now. Huh. So the master you went with a different color tile. And again, got the gray grout lines and then another mix of tile. Wow, okay. <clears throat> All right, so I'm guessing it was an afterthought to add this. Okay, pocket door for your water closet. There's your window, your second window. So, of course, these are north south facing. It's a large living closet. Just curious if there's a vent in that. No. Okay. So, you have his and her vanity. You probably have more counter space in the bathroom than you do in the kitchen. Wow, this is a very, very large closet. Yeah. Uh, you really have room to put a ceiling fan in here if you wanted to. You could do a second layer as, level as well. Yeah, you got some good space in here. I don't see any cracking, any separation. House is new though, so kind of anticipate as much. Let's take a look at the shower. Very, very clean. So they did the tile, they just changed the style of the pattern. So it's just coming and running up the floor here. They did a base change, but a little pebble flow there. Okay. Overall, I gotta say I'm seeing good. Edges aren't Schlater, but it's no big deal. Make sure it's not, nope, not soft close. Hmm. Pocket door coming in. Wow, they rent with a lot of pocket doors in this house. And these are your west facing windows. Okay. Interesting. It's a good size room, tray ceiling, double crown. Got to return again. Mud room, pocket door. Again, the pocket doors. Mud sink. You have the stone backsplash. That's nice. This is a really a large room. It's almost like another closet in and of itself. You can do so much with the storage, additional space. I mean, you could run shelving around, cabinetry. There's a lot of room to do a lot of different things and different options. Garage is epoxy, nice touch. <clears throat> okay, so this is probably your air handler. Oh, utility room, okay. So, 2019 on the unit. 
and you can see the 19 on the serial number. All right, interesting. It's a small filters carrier unit. Got some lighting in here. So that's good. So you're not pulling air from the garage so much. You've got your drain here for your garage. So I hope this is sloping out over here. Um, finished walls, painted. Really nice. No attic stairs. Um, so there's some discoloration here. So I'm just wondering if during this recent storms or whatnot, if that's, if any water was getting up through here. Let's just the edge. No, nothing wet. Okay, it's good and dry. There's just something spilt there. Definitely a good inspection for sure. You've got two ceiling fans out here. It's really, really nice. Nothing really mounted to the wall other than the, probably the dartboard over there. You've got your panel box here. So if you have, you still got room to add. So if you want to put a pool out. Okay. It's got a really high step up, you know, that step would probably be idea to widen that a little bit more or extend it. All right, I'm going to go out to the patio area now. So you've got these double sliders, some call them triple sliders. They do not recess, but they do go back. Um, you've got the screen here, so just... Make sure it's fully screened in. It's nice, nice touch. I don't want to wearing shoes inside the house. So I'm going to go back around the front and do the walk around. Roof looked good from everything I saw from all the angles. I'm about to check the back now, coming from the back angle, check the roof. But uh, you've got French drains. That's a good sign. You have right outside here about 15, 20 feet roughly. That's your septic mound for your drain fill. The alarm is on this side of the house. Uh, you can see the swell continues to run down to the back back there. So I'm guessing as it, it drops off to the back for drainage. So you've got outlets out here. I don't see any gas lines though. Okay, so builder probably didn't offer that. All right. I'm gonna go walk around the house now. from this side here, walk our way around. The yard is actually pretty dry, considering how much rain we just recently got. Callahan being low land. Uh, roof looks good. Exterior facade looks good. There's your alarm. This is most likely for the irrigation. Um, yeah, you got your sprinkler heads. Good, all right. Oh, here's your French drain pop out. Okay, so, huh, not the best solution, but I guess it's probably got some sloping going on and drains over with the swell. It's got gutters, which is a nice touch, controlling the flow of water. Okay. 
there's that lot that's to the side of us over there. And it looks like what you can see where site mound is, maybe two options, unless they've already put in installed a drain fill, which is possible. But it seems like an awful big drain fill for that. And it starts to get a little, a little wetter over here. Yeah, it's getting a little mushy. You can see where it drops off over there. And that's going to be basically like a ravine. Comes in over here as well. So you get your swells running on the sides of the property to the back. Roof looks good. You got floodlights right here. I don't know why they didn't put them on all the corners of the house, but it's okay. Overall, she's in pretty good shape from what I'm seeing. All right, that concludes it. I'm going to drive around the back side of the community, take a look at it, see what else they got started or finishing.